it's FIFA it's Andrew Stills and today we're here at Tolly Shoptoberfest at Tolly's Farm. I've been kindly invited by Ed Hopkins PR to come today and experience the haunts and just get totally scared. I am so, so excited, but without further ado, let's get into some of the haunts. So for our first maze, we are heading right down to the bottom of the park and we're going to be doing the Creepy Cottage. Creepy Cottage is one of my favourite mazes here and I just love it so much. It is really, really creepy. I'm so, so excited to get into this maze and we are now heading down to the bottom of the park to do Creepy Cottage. Hello. Hello, how are you? Oh, great! What's in your lunchbox? I've got a ham and cheese sandwich. Oh, yeah? And an apple. Amazing! Sounds yeah. very nice nutritious. And yeah, nice. You like Uno? <laughs> I don't mind Uno, yeah. Why are you going to play? <laughs> uh, but later, you, you, you seem busy. Here we are, boys. 3 a.m. challenge. <laughs> Stay on cottage. No, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's someone down there. <laughs> Not already, man! <laughs> Not already! Mate, this is so creepy. It looks familiar. This is my grandma's kitchen. <laughs> Where is she? Disappeared, mate. Oh, why am I first? Where are you from? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Well done! Yeah! Oh, bro! The, f <laughs> the floor! Oh, oh mate! The floor's horrible! Ah! Who's that in the bath then? Yeah. I got me, man. Oh, I'll take him to the moon and back. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I let him fly to my moon. So does he remind you of those glasses? Oh, you know, the, the guy with the wizard. You want to give him a little bit of an experiment? Oh, yeah. For me. There was a little bit of my Hagrid coming out right there. Would you like a dance with a zombie potato? Uh, sure. Yeah. Really? Oh, you've got a sway with a movement. Yeah. Looking in the eyes, around the eyes. <laughs> and you're delicious. Maldi, what do you reckon my chances are with that? Oh, I don't know. It's scary me. He's got half one colour and half the other colour. Oh, no! What is, is that like, Maybe it's like witchery or something. Oh, it's Harry okay. Potter oh. and it's all books. And you're lovely as well, aren't you? All lovely. <laughs> And now for the second maze of the night, we are heading into the cellar in prison. Oh no, that's bad. Whoa. We're in like these uh, airbag things and it is so hard to walk and my pockets are getting caught. <laughs> oh my god. Being to the outside and going yeah. in to the, uh, the cellar. Oh jeez. Oh, 
was just a pallet. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Oh my she in the fireplace, bro. She's on the floor! There's someone up there! Mate, this is mental! I'm scared to turn every corner! That was absolutely mental! The actors were literally everywhere, like swinging from heights down on the floor. Oh, it was so uncomfortable! And the whole time there were just like things hanging everywhere. Like at one point I got so scared it was just a hanging prop. The fact that actors use different levels is just ridiculous. Honestly, amazing! <laughs> it's man like they like this mate. <laughs> and Mr. Ollie H. Yo. What are you saying, bro? What are you saying, man? Welcome to the wastelands. I'm baby. <laughs> Not everyone in here is as friendly as myself in Fergus. What's that, Fergus? No, I was just overhearing from Fergus that uh, Torchy over there, the one with the big X, would really quite like to split you in two, especially you in particular. Anyway, have you met Pocket Monster? Pocket Monster's <laughs> a vicious killer. <laughs> oh, 32 counts of murder. It's not even that good, really. What are you looking at? Look what you made him do. From limb. Where you are keeping the necklace. Damn it. Get it here, come on, into the West Side's Penitentiary. I'm so sorry. You watch where you're going, you're end up in prison. That's what happened to me. I got put in a wicker basket, left out the front. I'm basically Wastelands Moses. <laughs> On this prison riot, this is not how it works. You, go stand over there. Why? Because I want you to. I'm a bit unsure on why, but we've all been split up. I have not a clue what is going on. But I'm nervous, but also excited at the same time. We are about to go into one of my favourite attractions here at Tully's, the Haunted Hayride. So before we start rolling, one, two, three. Welcome to Horror Woods, and you know what they say, there's no business. Ah, oh, good evening, how's it you? Ain't you a doll? just finished on the Haunted Hayride and I still stand by it. One of my favourite attractions here at Tully's. It never ever fails to disappoint and it was so good. Like it was so different this year. Like we haven't been here for like two years now. Last year we were at Disney so we've had a gap here and to see it being so fresh is just honestly phenomenal. And like I said, absolutely amazing ride. One of my favourite things to do at Tully's is the Haunted Hayride and it still is this year. Now we are about to head into the Coven of 13. I cannot wait to get inside and experience Coven of 13 this year. So we are currently walking through like these really massive airbags and it's so hard. There are like actors like jumping out at us. It's not good, I just fell over. I think we are about to enter a uh, cabin in the woods. <laughs> oh no, no, no. 
It is so hot in here. Oh my god, they're literally everywhere. You can't see anything and it is boiling. Covenant of 13 was just as good as I remembered. The last room was so intense this year. They had really upped the level. There were so many more actors in there and it was so hot. Like it felt claustrophobic, although you were in this big space. But now we're outside of Helements, which is the hooded maze here at Tully's. <laughs> Keep losing the rope. That's a bit chilly. Oh, oh they, they said it was the exit. Hang on a minute. Oh, why does it feel like real flesh? I hate your soul! I'm gonna rip your eyes out! I'm gonna rip your eyes out! Oh, uh, please don't. Rip eyes! It's way! Helmets was just as good as I remember it. The fake ending, I'm not gonna spoil too much, it's so good. Honestly, amazing. So we have just been through purgatory. Unfortunately, we cannot film purgatory because it is the new mate here. But it was really, really cool. The concept was amazing. You had like these lanterns that would flicker on and off depending what room you're in. There were nuns everywhere. The theming was pretty good. Really, really good in some areas. But now we are about to enter, again, new for this year, the carving. I'm so excited. It looks like an American themed maze. I don't know anything about this maze, but I'm so excited. And as you can probably tell, I'm losing my voice. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> 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 You are playing a game with me! <laughs> you are playing a game with me! It's time for you to bleed. Just don't get any blood on my sheets. Cause I spent hours <laughs> and hours cleaning them up. I'm gonna skin you alive. Oh no. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stuff you with hay. <laughs> and you're gonna join the scarecrows. Oh no, scarecrows? <laughs> One of my personal favorites when we did it in opening year, Doomtown. And now for my favorite bit, the part when you go outside and you're transported into a different world completely. I literally can't see anything. Wastelands Penitentiary, which I've been looking forward to the most all night. Mm, yummy, yeah. it's like my bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing? 
Fire it up! Hey, what the hell? This is the fight I absolutely love. Fresh meat! Let's not go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wastelands was absolutely crazy as always, but now we are heading into Tully's most infamous maze, the Chop Shop Garage. I am so excited for this. It is honestly just chainsaw heaven, and there it is behind me. Yeah! Oh, I recognize your face. Gills, is it? It is. Oh, <laughs> Keep it moving, yeah? The family came away to meet you. <laughs> Are you my boyfriend? I could, yeah. Be my boyfriend! <laughs> Be my boyfriend! <laughs> thumbs up and subscribe down below as it does help the channel so we've just gotten home the time is like way past midnight it's like 1:20. um we had an absolute amazing time and i just wanted to thank ed hopkins pr and tully's farm once again for inviting me down to experience oktoberfest it was absolutely amazing as always one of the highlights of my year and make sure you keep your eyes peeled for more spooky halloween content coming soon i'll see you in the next one